let's say that we predict churn. If churn happens, we're gonna try to uh, stop that person from churning, right? If we see, predict that this person is gonna churn within three months, we're gonna trigger some retention action. We're gonna try to stop that person from churning. If we are trying to predict uh, credit loan defaults, if we predict that the person is going to default on the loan, then we're not gonna give them the loan. And lastly, let's say we work in predictive maintenance. If we see that there is an issue with the machine or there will be an issue with the machine in the next, let's say six weeks, then we're gonna maintain the machine to make sure that this issue doesn't happen. So we're gonna take the business action based on that positive prediction. And if we, let's say, maintain the machine and machine didn't break, that means that the uh, targets potentially change due to the business action, because we will never know whether that machine would have broken if we had not maintained it. Uh, and obviously it's not something we can just say, okay, let's not maintain the machine get the tar uh, and still get the targets because that would defeat the whole purpose of predictive maintenance. Uh, in some other use cases, like with uh, credit default prediction, uh, we will not give that person a loan. So we will never actually know whether that person would have defaulted on the loan if we had given it to them. So the targets are just fully absent because we uh, did some business action which is denying the loan. 